What's up? What's good? What's poppin'? What's crackin'? Sparkling? What's really good? And who's your man, Theo Butler? And today they started the impeachment for Donald Trump. Now, before we get started, I know some of y'all gonna feel some type of way. Y'all feel some type of way. You voted for the dude once. You voted for the dude twice. Fine. That's not what this video is about. What this video is about today is they are, they have started the impeachment trial. What this video is about is accountability and responsibility. Okay, get past what happened last year during the summer because you can say whatever you want to during the summer and I'm pretty sure some of you are going to say this. What we know for a fact is none of them stormed the Capitol. <laughs> Y'all can say whatever y'all want to say. What we know is none of them had zip ties, rope, body armor, breaking, climbing, storming into the Capitol, throwing theses over the place, breaking stuff, stealing stuff, pissing all over the place. We know that. Y'all know that because the the people, the armed militia was standing across the street, tear gas, <laughs> rubber bullets. Y'all know that. Y'all know that. So we're not going to do that. What this is about is accountability and responsibility. And we need to know somebody's accountable. Somebody's accountable and somebody's responsible. So let's look at it like this. Because I get it. I saw the videos with Representative Maxine Waters basically saying the same thing Donald Trump has said. I, 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 I'm going to keep it 100. I'm going to keep it 100. Here's what I know. I know that looking at video footage that Fox News has provided that there have been times where uh, Democratic representatives have said some of the same rhetoric that Donald Trump spilled. They did. I, I, I can't lie. I was like, wow. So Sean Hannity says they should be held accountable. He says they should be impeached as well. I can't say he right and I can't say he wrong. I can't. I want to. I want to be able to say one way or the other. Hey, Sean Hannity, you wrong for saying that Representative Waters should be held just as equally accountable as Donald Trump. I want to be able to say, hey, you right for saying she should be held just as accountable as Donald Trump. There's a difference. None of the people they spoke to stormed the Capitol. We've had the Million Man March led by Louis Farrakhan, who a lot of people would say is militant. I, myself, to a degree, believe he harbors militant tendencies. But then again, so do I. But Louis Farrakhan did not... urge his people to storm the Capitol and the million man march because you know brothers took buses and cars and stuff like that people was carpooling and everything to get there none of them stormed the Capitol last year during the summer we well, already touched on it none of them stormed the Capitol so with this video being about accountability and responsibility who's responsible for them storming the Capitol if it's not Trump who is it is it them? Do you denounce what they did? Or do you believe they was in their rights, well within their rights? And if they were well within their rights to storm the Capitol because they felt the election was being stolen or was stolen, why wasn't BLM well within their rights to stand across the street and yell Black Lives Matter? But now some of these people that were yelling Black Lives Matter standing across the street and they crossed the ethnic boundaries, they crossed the gender boundaries, they crossed the religious boundaries. These people were standing across the street and they were yelling, chanting in Washington, D.C. They didn't storm the Capitol. Why would they why were they in, why were they in D.C. though? It could be argued that the person they were in D.C. for was already dead, George Floyd. It could be argued 
that George Floyd's death led up to the riots was the the ignition for the riots that took place during the summer. If we want to blame somebody, we could blame George Floyd. Or we could blame the police officer that knelt on his neck. But either way, if we're going to blame one of those two individuals, then we got to look at Donald Trump. And if we're going to say that Donald Trump isn't responsible, then we're going to say that George Floyd and the cop that killed him aren't responsible for the people that marched on the Capitol, rallied and burnt down stuff. We're going to say that those people need to be held accountable. So if those people need to be held accountable because I believe in equal energy, we're not going to be hypocrites here. If you destroy property that doesn't belong to you, definitely you should be arrested. I really don't care what the reason was. I can be sympathetic for the reason, but I know destroying property that's not yours is wrong. It's against the law. So that means the people that stormed the Capitol were responsible for their own actions and Donald Trump should not be impeached. That's common sense. But now the people that have been arrested for storming the Capitol, they feel in their hearts, some of them, not all of them, they were doing what Donald Trump told them to do. And if they were in their rights to do what the president urged them to do, and they broke the law. Let's come on, let's, let's go ahead and say what that was. They broke the law. We can say the president told them to do it and they, they followed the president's words, but they broke the law. Then BLM, because y'all keep throwing this up, Antifa, y'all love to keep throwing this stuff up. Then what they did during the summer in D.C. was right. Yet the angst and the animosity that you have towards them being in D.C. pales in comparison to the angst and animosity you have towards the people who stormed the Capitol, broke in, broke stuff, stole stuff, urinated, threw feces, injured folks, and killed some people. Accountability and responsibility. Mind you, I didn't lay the burden of responsibility or accountability anywhere. I just said it lies somewhere. You got to think about where it should lie based on your own beliefs. And if your beliefs aren't 100, if your beliefs go back and forth, depending on the political affiliation, the gender, the spirituality, the ethnicity, you need to check yourself. I ain't saying I'm just saying, peace.